and trying to give the string work. Here. Hi, Nicole. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Do you want some pizza? I got some strawberries on it. Summer pizza. This is why I have you guys wait for me at the end of strings because on my phone, because when I tap on chat, it just stops. Camera dies, freaks out. my wipes. I need work when I ask people if they like pineapple pizza. Yo, I'm eating pineapple pizza right now. It's got pineapple on it. I am all team pineapple pizza. Oh God. Hell yeah. Whose emote is that? When are you getting new emotes, Nicole? Pineapple doesn't belong on pizza. It belongs in my stomach. Pizza is my favorite place to eat pineapple. You know what doesn't belong on pizza? Ham. Ham doesn't belong on Earth. Unless it's in a pig, that's a lie. <laughs> Twitch disagrees. CEO of Twitch was like, make a pineapple pizza emote. Can you hear Batty? I think she's telling you how much she loves pineapple on pizza. When I picked up the bubble bath, I got this big long beef stick. She was so happy to get it. I made her shake for it. Y'all eating today? How are y'all doing? She's barking mad for it. <laughs> See what you did there. This is my favorite pizza of all time. Next is Topper's Pizza in LA. They're some sort of chicken pizza, chicken garlic, garlic chicken. I got a free pride cake with my order. I'm full. Two slices, I'm already full. A 
a big long beef stick that sounds doggy to me. You know what doesn't belong on pizza? A big long beef stick. <laughs> <laughs> it's appropriate, I swear. The pay gear was cheaper, but I was like, eh, it's kind of grossing me out a little bit. Oh, can y'all see me? All I see is chat. are called but I like them a little bath caddy I need a game boy <laughs> no worries half the times I'm typing in chat I'm trying to make jokes so fast and the words are never right I feel like doggy fit pretty nicely though It's safe to sleep stream in a tub, right? I want a huge amount of bubbles. I want to just be a pair of eyes above bubbles. I'd rather have to get rid of the shower caddy though. I could do that. There's so much stuff around me. Kiwi melon, delicious, my favorite. instructions put like one to two capfuls and I just like pour like half the bottle. Like that oh, I don't know how full it was when I got it though. But that's a big that's that's more than two capfuls. I want to know the secret to getting like a huge bubble bath. bubbles then you're gonna have to move sites. What? What? So bubbles 
started farting there were just bubbles coming up everywhere just bubbles we love.com is that a, I, I hope that's a real site I can't check but well yeah y h but well you you oh but yeah okay got it got it got it got it I promise they're not fart bubbles this is bubble bath I thought I would eat more pizza, but I'm full. I got cheese puffs. I brought three sodas. I tried to get an inflatable, like a pool inflatable. They only had like inflatable pools, not like an animal. Damn, Nicole, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Who knew you knew so many languages? So beautiful. <laughs> I totally understand. We're just vibing. Just vibing outside of our office chair. You know? You know? We did milk ball earlier. just want to be a face. I feel awkward too. There's nothing to see. It's just bubbles. It's just bubble content. Nothing weird. Okay. Totally normal behavior. There. Are we more comfortable now? With my Santa beard? I need to hire a bubble fluffer. I want one of those bubble guns. Have you seen those later or lately? The bubble bazookas are like 20 bucks. Shoots out mad bubbles. There you go. They're dope. And she said a ton of bubbles. But then my walls be all sticky. But I figured I could just do it in the tub. And then just wash down the walls. I didn't want to do bubbles while I was eating them. Thank you for the follow. Hello, hello. I want there to be a podcast in the pools and hot tub category. And it's just three dudes in like one of those, those hard plastic blue like outdoor pools. And it's just gonna be like three men in a tub. Rub it up, dub, three men in a tub. But they just talk about daily topics and drink Bud Lights. Please show your dress, what dress? 
Show me your dress first. Unless you mean my bubble dress. I'm not here. It's us both. I do not reply on Instagram. Good night, y'all. Good night. Sorry, no baddie today. Make sure you make puppy, puppy friendly bubble baths. No better we hate that. But I do love a bubby bat, a bubby, a batty bath trim. I wish I had speech dagger. So I did two test streams earlier today, and I tried out the Streamlabs app the first time, and I forgot what it was that I didn't like about it. Oh, I think you couldn't, I couldn't mod from it, or I couldn't figure out how to mod. I was just doing like the simple layout version. The advanced seemed too hands-on. I just chose a thingy, and then chat would pop up, but like I couldn't do anything about it. I need like some opera music from Candlelight. I have a bathtub pillow, but I don't have it out right now. Tell Jay Hawker to wake me up at midnight. waterproof like lav mic lav mic so you can hear just all the bubbles just collapsing by my ears a little fizzy ASMR I'm gonna wake up there's gonna be no bubbles anyway I should be okay I want to see someone do a bathtub stream, but with like, like 10 dogs. Do you see that? You know those people that have pet monkeys that like have service monkeys that help them do stuff around the house? Have you ever seen one of them like, Follow some of those accounts on TikTok. When they have to give the monkey a bath, it's like dive bombing into the bath and like 
running out and just going crazy. Going crazy. I don't see how that doesn't make your life harder. A circus monkey. I don't know if I could sleep knowing that could just like tear my face away, apart. Hey, thank you for the sub. We're one sub closer to six than that. Thank you, Ehaze. If any of you guys have a service monkey, let me know. What are they called? Chipuchin. Named after monks, I believe. Did we have this discussion last stream? I feel like we did. My fingers are already wrinkly. So wrinkly my hands are. But they're always wrinkly. <laughs> Not my fingertips though. But my palms. It's like I was evolved to climb. Did my ancestors just climb a lot? Is that why they're wrinkly? Because I needed to grip? Maybe I'm supposed to rock climb or something. I wonder. Like once your hand is dry, but if it's still wrinkly, if your finger pads are still wrinkly, does that help you with like bouldering? Cirque, what's up? Hope it's going amazing and awesome. Because remember, you are amazing and awesome, just like everyone here. So y'all keep rocking out here and make the world beautiful. Sir, have you ever tried to get like a Hallmark sponsorship? It'd be great for that. You know what I wish we could do? Y'all remember like e-cards? I wish you could send e-cards to people on Twitch, like via like bits or something, like cheer them an e-card. And it plays like a jib jab animation. You never really know. Well, thank you for your sweet words. How are you? I'm just talking about how wrinkly my fingers are. The bath isn't cold yet. Anyway, you're welcome. I saw what happened earlier in the chat, so I decided to add that in case it happens again when I'm not here. Man, Nicole, you're amazing. I'm good. Had some fried chicken earlier. Chilling tonight. Did you get Dave's hot chicken? Because I was craving that last night. I love how I say craving it, but I've never tried it, but I want to try it. Patrick! My knee looks like a, does that look, it looks like a butt, doesn't it? TOS. No, Sally, but I drove by it earlier and I really want to check it out. Maybe tomorrow. Yeah. Um, their bread looks sad and pathetic. I just looked it up on Yelp. I wish they had like Cane's Texas toast and then the fries are like frozen. But like, the chicken looks all right. I wanna try it. I had Lee's yesterday. Their chicken's so spicy to me. I get the non-spicy kind and it is like, I had to give it away. Like I couldn't, I had to stop eating it after one strip. I was like, <laughs> I heard, I heard Popeyes has like a banana, banana pudding dessert. Ooh, I want it. I need it. What if I was just eating Krabby Patties? There's gotta be a place. Like, can you still go to like Nickelodeon Studios? There's gotta be, there's gotta be like a crusty crab somewhere where you can get actual Krabby Patties. Cause I wanna try a Krabby Patty. It kills me, like a dick spicy, but when it's just too fire and you can't taste the flavor, it's not fun anymore. Bro, there should be. Yo, I read that, um, a heads up. I read that the medium and the hot at Dave's Hot Chicken is basically kind of like the same level of spice. And they said it just hurts. They just said it's just abrasive on your tongue. So I don't know about how tasty it is. Maybe go for the medium? I don't know. I don't know. I can't taste the flavor with spice. I just I just taste pain. <laughs> That's why when people are like, oh you don't eat anything spicy, you're missing out. I'm like, I'm not like not personally, because when I eat it, I just I just feel pain. 
so I might as well just not feel pain. You did the one chip and one gummy bear a few times. A few times, Patrick? So at this point, my reference is skewed. I feel like my tolerance reset pretty quickly after that. I think within a couple months, I was back to not being able to tolerate anything spicy. How was it doing multiple times? Did it get easier? Like, knowing what to expect? Was there more prep? I just remember warning everyone about preparing for those challenges. I don't want anyone to get hurt. It's a tiny bit easier since I knew what to expect. Still sucked hard though, yeah. At least you know within like 25 minutes, you know, it, it'll pass, but it is, it is. It's intense, all right. It's intense. Like skydiving. I finished Peaky Blinders. I can't wait for the movie. I thought it was good. I can still paralyze your mouth. You drooled a lot, but it was funny, so meh. It clears your sinuses, and it helped me with my pain. Cause I, I hurt my knee one morning when I did when I did the gummy bear. And then after did the after I ate it, I couldn't feel pain I couldn't feel like joint pain or muscle pain. Only inside pain. Plinky Beavers. Yes, yes, yes. Pinky Blinders. Have you seen that show? It was so good. I've got that, like, I've got that emptiness in me now, now that I've seen it. I'm just like, well, what do I do now? It's so good. Heavy Hour Clips. Oof. Because all seasons are on Netflix right now, because they just released the last one on Netflix in April, I believe. So it's a good time to get into it, but they're gonna have a movie in the next. I don't even think they started filming it. So it kind of there's there's like an ending, but there's still more to be told. How is Sandman? Maybe that will be my next one. I keep seeing it's number one on Netflix. I want a stable inflatable pillow. You loved it. That's good. Random recommended um, Wheel of Time, since that's on Prime. And I was thinking about watching Fleabag with y'all. Well, the books, oh, and the, read them multiple times, and this feels like one of the best adaptations ever. Adaptations. Is that, is that Neil Gaiman? Or am I thinking of something else, like a comic that also is called Sand or something? The actress they got for death, chef's kiss. Yo, if you like, Helen McCrory was the best thing to come out of Peaky Blinders. Like, ugh. Ugh, I'm such a huge fan. It's a shame that she passed. I'm excited. Okay, cool, cool, cool.